All right, Cisco Threat Response. We're gonna talk about Olympic Destroyer. This is a tool that Cisco's developed to help with incident response. So you get uh, the CIO comes in, he's reading the you know front page news uh, about Olympic Destroyer, uh, which was recently used to disrupt the Winter Olympics in South Korea. The news article suggests that other threat actors may be able to use this malware and commodity based attacks. Uh, and they want to know if you're mitigating that risk or protecting. So you go to, you know, maybe you go to Talos, you do some analysis. There's a lot of great information. You grab the IOCs and now you're going to leverage a tool. This has always been hard, right? Because you'd have to go to multiple different products, maybe a SIM and try to figure it out whether or not you actually are prone to the attack. But you can see here very quickly, I've got, you know, one are 10 observables and I've got a clean one and the rest are all malicious, but I still don't know yet, and I'll show you in a second, whether or not we have it within the organization. But look at this, right? When you start tying this in, now I know uh, I have a target. I know the, the host name, the MAC address, the IP address. So I know that we've been impacted. So already I can say that at least one host right, was, was compromised. And when I start looking at this a little bit deeper, I can start seeing other artifacts that are associated with the compromise itself. So we can see here's the file path, right? We can also see users is John Doe, right? Um, and the execution path itself. We know it's the, the name is old.exe. Again, we can pivot very quickly from here into other tools within the Cisco security portfolio. We have the SHA, um, all great information, right? So we're already hitting the ground running because very quickly I can see that I've had one endpoint that was targeted. Um, but we also know that nine observables, we were mitigating risk, right? They were showing up as malicious. Here we can see a little bit about this malicious file, right? Again, first scene, the last scene, we see some indicators that tells us a little bit about the, um, the malware itself. Over here, we're, we're looking at observables. There's two uh, looks, right? One is this is a card view and the other one is uh, the list view. So you can see here, this is the list. And let's look at this one specific one that we've seen that's actually hit one of our targets. We can see that we've got a couple judgments, AMP Protect DB, and we've also seen Threat Grid also seen this. But let's look at the sightings. So you can see AMP Threat Grid sample analysis, AMP or Threat Quarantine sighting, and then we see a AMP event or endpoint AMP event as well, right? Again, we get SHA-256, the file name, file path, um, host name, all of that summarized, the IP address. But now I can pivot right from here. So I start with Cisco Threat Response and now I'm able to pivot very quickly into um, the endpoint product. And now I'm able to see very quickly old.exe was, was quarantined, which is great. And it was executed by explore.exe. So all of a sudden now I have the information I need to be able to tell the CIO what really took place within the environment, right? So we've got some great information that we picked up from the IOCs, right? Olympic Destroyer, we can see the SHA-256, we've got Browser Stealer, System Stealer, etc. right? You can see the additional information uh, around uh, uh, SHA-256s that are available to us. So as we went through with Cisco Threat Response, we were able to get some information, right? F from either the Cisco Response Tool or Cisco Threat Response Tool or through Endpoint AMP. So let's pull this together and, and build out this threat hunting worksheet, sh right? So kill chain analysis. So right from here, we see targets, we've got a name, MAC, IP address. We can fill that in. That's the reconnaissance portion or the targeted system. We know a little bit about it. That's fantastic, right? computer name, operating system, MAC address, the host IP address. Now from here, we're gonna use this as an example from Endpoint AMP, right? We can see very quickly that John Doe was the executed explorer.exe, right? We also know that explorer.exe was used, right? So we can fill that in, right? Now we know exploitation was explorer.exe. We didn't see anything around droppers or the delivery mechanism itself as we continue our analysis right uh, we're pulling all that great information that we learned as we were doing that we know that it's a ms portable executable 
We also are able to grab the file name from multiple different areas. And now we're looking at things like the malware family name. So what we can do is that we seen that there's the SHA-256 of old.exe and we can align it to the IOCs that we saw on Talos uh, uh, blog. And now we know that the malware family name itself is uh, Olympic Destroyer. When we look at CNC traffic, there was nothing that we saw during our analysis. Again, we did a lot of work within Talos uh, blog itself. It provided us a lot of information. We know the malware capabilities around credential harvesting from browsers and system, file deletion, lateral movement, and using PX exec. We would have a timeline. Now this was all demo data, so I didn't get into that, but we do know there's one target, right? We also did see a quarantine event take place. So we do know that the file was quarantined and maybe we have some recommendations and those recommendations would be maybe enable AMP on inbound gateways like firewalls and email security and web content, etc. Again, pretty easy stuff, right? The CIO came to me with a question and I was able very quickly to be able to answer it.